from Monte Carlo, the 1993 World Music Awards, hosted by Michael Douglas, with Prince Albert, Princess Carolyn, Princess Stephanie of Monaco, and starring Boys to Men, Garth Brooks, Billy Ray Cyrus, Nona Gay, Mel Gibson, Guns N' Roses, In Excess, Michael Jackson, Luciano Pavarotti, Claudia Schiffer, John Sakata, Rod Stewart, Patrick Swayze, Tina Turner, and Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Sporting Club in Monte Carlo, It wasn't difficult to determine the best-selling American artist this year. His records have been at the top of the charts for over 24 years. He sold more records than any individual in recording history. His televised interview was one of the most watched shows of all time. And you can hear the screams any time anyone even thinks when he thinks of appearing on stage anywhere. In this princely principality, it may be considered inappropriate to introduce a king. But indulge me this once, as I introduce this year's best-selling American artist, the king of pop, Michael Jackson. <laughs> I love you too. Um, thanks to all my fans and friends in America for your continued support of my music. Thanks to Mickey Schulhoff, Tommy Matola, Dave Glue, and my entire Sony family. You made it happen. Thanks to Sandy Gallen and Jim Mori. I love you all. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for Rod Stewart, Boys to Men, and Guns N' Roses from the Sporting Club in Monte Carlo. Representing the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry, please welcome its president, Sir John Morgan. Now, it's, it's, it's my very great honor and privilege to introduce Her Serene Highness, Princess Stephanie of Monaco. artist I'm sure will come as no surprise to anyone. He has been ruling the charts for some time now with a musical style that blends pop, rock, rhythm and blues, gospel, rap and Motown. It is a combination that has captivated the world and garnered him with this year's World Music Award as world's best-selling pop artist and his name is Michael Jackson. Oh, 
Um, I love you too. First, uh, uh, I love you. Um, my. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, almost. Thank you, Michael Douglas, and thank you, Sir John Morgan and Princess Stephanie. Thank you so much. Um, boys to men, I think you're brilliant. You're brilliant. Um, thanks to my fans around the world for making my album Dangerous, the biggest selling album of 92. You continue to make my dreams a reality. Thanks to my Sony International family, which made it happen. I love you madly. Thank you. Congratulations to all the artists whose work have been recognized here tonight. Only one recording artist is receiving three World Music Awards this year. As you have recently seen, the accolades are justified. He not only sets standards for all artists in sales and use of recording and video media, but he demonstrates how the power of celebrity can be used to positive effect in helping to ease the problems of our world. It is with great pleasure that I present him with this award, which names him world's best-selling artist of the era. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the king of pop, Mr. Michael Jackson. Thank you. Um, I love you too. Thank you, Your Serene Highness. I am honored to accept this World Music Award. It means a lot to me, for I sincerely believe that through music. Could you hold this for me? Would you want? I'm sorry. It's kind of heavy. I love you too. I believe that through music we can help heal the world. It's through such charities as the Princess Grace Foundation of Monaco that this will be accomplished. Again, thanks to my fans around the world. I love you. And, and you wonderful people of Monaco for these honors. Merci, merci encore. <laughs>